Hi, uh, my name is uh, Professor Dr. Ali Zamir Khan. I am a uh, chest surgeon, a thoracic surgeon. I'm the director of minimally invasive and robotic thoracic surgery at Medanta, the Medicity, uh, Gurgaon, India. And I'm also the director of robotic surgery at St. Bartholomew's Hospital uh, in London, UK. I am actually involved uh, internationally with, uh, with early detection of lung cancer. There is something called as a lung cancer screening program. In the UK, uh, we do run a lung cancer screening program where we ask people a high risk population, which is somebody over the age of 45 who has a history of having smoked for a long time, who's got a positive family history of lung cancer in another, uh, in a sibling or in a parent. These people are actually screened with a technology called as a low dose CT. It's called LDCT. Uh, there is conclusive evidence to show that low dose CT will help to pick up early lung cancer. This was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. It was published in the Lancet as an international protocol uh, where we showed that lung cancer screening helps in picking up lung cancers. In India, unfortunately, we do not have a lung cancer screening program. All of the effort of the government is spent on screening for tuberculosis. And even that is not a robust program. Uh, I think we need to really push the government to, to develop a program where at least the high risk population has a access or an opportunity to have A, a chest x-ray, and then if the chest x-ray is positive, to have a low dose CT. It is, it is definitely an added expenditure to the health care of the country, but it is well worth it if you can pick up a operable lung cancer and raise the uh, percentage from a dismal 3% to at least an acceptable 10%. So I think the government can help in a big way. I was with the WHO last week. I'm working with a lung cancer screening program in Brazil. And that is a quite a robust program. And Brazil, if you look socioeconomically, is quite similar to India. If you look at the cultural uh, population as well, it's quite similar to India. So we are asking the WHO to pressurize the Indian government to introduce the lung cancer screening program in India. And, and we have already got a template available for it. And there is absolutely no reason why they, can do, why they can't do it straight away, at least in the big government hospitals and in the, in the big corporate hospitals. We can do it. So it is mandatory for us to do screening programs. As I said, in India, I'll speak only about India because in England it's a different ball game. In India, my main concern is very, very often doctors actually see the patient, see the x-ray, see the patch, but do not get a CT done. They think he's got tuberculosis, they treat him with tuberculosis. And they give three, four, five, six months of treatment and by the time they have got the next x-ray, you can see a patch elsewhere in the body. You've missed the boat. And that is a real problem. The medical doctors have to think of lung cancer. It is the biggest killer in the world. If you look at the cause of death in, in the entire world, the highest cause of death in a male is lung cancer. And the problem is that by the time it gets picked up, it's usually spread to other areas. So medical fraternity need to be aware of lung cancer. They need to be aware of, uh, you know, thinking beyond tuberculosis. That's what. The point I want to make is please think beyond tuberculosis. Everything is not TB. And in the UK, we are not allowed to start empirical treatment of TB. The word empirical means starting treatment without confirmation or diagnosis. In India, unfortunately, every Tom, Dick and Harry doctor will actually start empirical treatment without having a culture positive or without having a sputum positive. And, and it really is a problem. The number of times they give out the TB medication uh, as if these are sweet pills, it, it's, it's a real problem. So medical professions have to be very careful about what we are giving why we are giving and it has got to be evidence 
based medicine. You cannot treat people without evidence of the disease, not on a suspicion. That's one aspect. The second aspect which I want medical professionals and also the population at large is that in India we have not just our system of medicine, we have other systems of medicine. Uh, Ayush, which is called as Ayurveda, Yunani, Homeopathy. I, I think they are great systems. They, are, they, are, they have their benefits. There are definitely certain diseases that they can treat. But we have so many people out there, the Babas and the saints and the practitioners of alternative medicine, who are making a claim that they can treat lung cancer, they can treat liver cancer, they can treat baldness, they can treat constipation, all with the same treatment. Many, 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 many patients and the general population get swayed. Even though you have a diagnosis of cancer or a suspicion of cancer, they think that instead of having an operation or instead of having a chemotherapy, why don't I go to this Baba and he will make me better. I have personally had patients who came to me, they were perfectly operable people. I could have operated and got rid of the cancer and extended their life. They said, no, we want to go and take this treatment, X, Y, Z. And unfortunately, they come, tap, come back to me five months later, six months later. And then when I repeat the CT scan, I find it has spread from A to B. The moment it's spread from A to B, I don't think we have treatment for that. We are in a zone of palliation, which means we can only control symptoms. So I think, again, I come back to the same point, education. The other way is to train the patients and what we do is we run blogs, uh, we run uh, educational programs online, we do television uh, educational programs where we reach out to the patient and we tell them that if you've got a symptom, please do not ignore it. The commonest symptom is cough with a little bit of blood. First indicator, anytime you get blood in any part of your body, which is not supposed to be there, something is wrong. Go to the doctor, please get a chest x-ray to begin with. That education needs to be imparted to a lot of our general population. A lot of people, when they get symptoms, they ignore the symptoms or they don't have the time to go to the doctor or they don't have the ex money to go to the doctor. And what happens, by the time they get picked up with lung cancer, it is too late. And then we can't offer them curative treatment and we go into the zone of palliation. And that is not something that we want. The data, if you look at the Indian data, uh, if you look at the international data with lung cancer, the number of cases that actually prove to be operable is 10 to 12%. So really, even in the Western world, with a diagnosis of lung cancer, only 10 to 12% of patients will present early enough to be operated. In India, that dramatically drops down to about 3 to 4%. So 100 people who have been smoking cigarettes for more than 20 years of their life will get lung cancer, but only two or three of them will actually get life-saving surgery. 97 of them will unfortunately die from the disease. And we have to change that. We have to change that with education of people, with education of the general practitioners, with education of the specialists. It's absolutely mandatory. This appalling number has to change. And it is changeable. It's not that you cannot pick up these symptoms early. And that is why education is the key. It is, this is the most important question you've asked me. And it is the only way we will solve the health crisis in our, in our country. Education, education, education. <laughs> It's very simple, think lung cancer. Everything is not tuberculosis. Any bleeding in a cough should raise the suspicion of cancer. Any abnormal loss of weight should raise the suspicion of cancer. Anybody who has been smoking for 20 years, 20 pack years, should raise the suspicion of cancer. Anybody who's got a family history of somebody else having had lung cancer should think of cancer. Please think cancer. If you think cancer, you will investigate and you will be able to catch it early and we will be able to treat it early. If you think tuberculosis, you have lost the game.